Hi, in this lesson we're going to uh, show you how to install an OpenCart module. Uh, if you log into your OpenCart administration panel, you'll see under the extensions modules menu that OpenCart comes with a number of modules already built in. Uh, you'll no doubt work out soon that you need some additional functionality and this is usually provided by installing a third party OpenCart module. So that's what we're going to show you how to do right here. The first thing you need to do is to fire up your FTP program and log into your OpenCart store. We've covered this in our previous lessons. Second thing you need to do is navigate your way to your OpenCart module that you want to install on your local file system. You'll generally find that the OpenCart module, once unzipped, will come with an upload folder and possibly some installation instructions. Key thing here is we need to move into our upload folder and you'll see that they've carefully placed the folders admin, catalog and maybe system or some other folders there they've carefully placed all the files in the correct folders that they need to be this is a point of confusion for many people if we log into our OpenCart store and we see it on the right here the root directory of OpenCart store a lot of people think that when we copy this folder across here we'll be overriding the admin folder here on our OpenCart store that's not the case what this will do is if we go through here we can just see that there's a there's one file under this folder or directory path that's what will be copied not it won't be overriding the admin folder on our open card store and same goes for when we uh, when we move across catalog and whatnot it won't be uh, overriding anything and we can test that by let's drag across the admin folder You can see this just copied one, one file there. Let's do it again here for catalog. There's a few more files under that directory. Again, it's not overwriting anything. A warning dialog will pop up before it overwrites anything. Nothing's being overwritten. We're just simply installing the module. We're putting all the files in the correct location. All right, so that's step one. We've, we've gone into the upload folder of the module and we've dragged across the folders as required. And now that they, they've carefully put themselves in the correct location in our OpenCart store, we can now go back to our OpenCart store, extension, modules. And we can see that that module we just installed was called SmartCart. It's right there. It's not installed. The files are in the correct location, but it hasn't been installed in the OpenCart system. We're going to click on install. We go back down here, we can see that now it's installed and we can actually edit its settings. This is a fairly simple module that just uh, displays some products in a, in a different kind of way using an algorithm to detect which are the best products to display. Uh, well, let's just go through this. Let's say we just want to put uh, five products. We'll leave it at the default image width and height. We'll put it on the, the front page so it's quite easily to see for us. And we'll put it at uh, near the top of the page and let's just click save. We've successfully modified the settings so we've installed it, modified the settings. Now if we just refresh the front page of our OpenCart store, this is uh, what the SmartCart module actually comes up as, top ranked. And there it is, we've installed our OpenCart module. Obviously, you could go back here and you could uh, alter these settings. You could put it on any page, you could put it in any position, and you can uh, choose the amount of products. That's how you install uh, an open cart module. It's quite simple. Key thing to take away from it is that uh, when you copy these folders across, you're not overriding the folders on your open cart store. You're simply following the path of the directory and those files are going in the same path and directory structure on your open cart store. Thank you.